It's going to... That thing. That thing. It's got to make a saving throw. It's on huh? fire, remember? That's true. Uh, does it make that... Every turn. Beginning At the end? end? Uh, that's what I'm looking. Give me a sec. Okay. Oh, I'm rolling your cold damage okay. right now. Uh, 19. I'm so so cold. he takes the cold damage on its turn I'm and so his hot. turn? Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So uh, cold and so hot all at the same time. There you go. I'm going through menopause. Oh. At it's the start cold. of each of its turn until the spell ends, the target must make a constitution saving throw. 21? Yeah, I would say. Yeah. 21 will, will succeed? Yeah, okay. so it's no longer on Yeah, it, it like... And like cold bursts around it and just the fire goes out. You said it's a 19? Yes, 19 cold. And it's going to try and bite you. Okay, bite you. Okay. That's a 19 plus stuff. That's going to hit. Uh, I'm assuming you've got more than a plus 6 bonus. Yes. It is. Four twelves and four sixes. Okay, so that's a twelve. Uh, that's a seven. Okay, hang on. Fifteen, twenty-seven. Thirty. Uh, Thirty piercing. And then that's ten, fourteen. Fourteen cold. Damn. So. Forty-four. Forty-four. Yeah. Damn. You guys are level 18. I gotta make it hard. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Just wish Ulfgar would have attacked that one and not that one. <laughs> I don't think I can make it to that one. Alright. And uh, seeing nope. what has occurred <clears throat> to its bros. It's going to burrow underground. You will get an attack opportunity against it if you wish. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't want to take that. <laughs> it's just a regular attack. Uh, I don't want to attack. But you can't match give out or anything. 28. Yes. That will hit. Severely wounded, it burrows back underground. <laughs> Fuck you guys, I'm out. Sorry, uh, I'm imagining it as it's burrowing underground, I hit it with a hammer walk on style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get back here. And, uh. Oh, you didn't roll any of its con saves for the special ability of the Doom Slayer that he's wielding. <gasps> I didn't. Oh, that's true. For mine. Oh, that's true. Hang on, let me take it there real quick. Uh. You did three Fail. hits. Success. Yeah, three. Three hits. Success. Okay, so you get one additional strength point. Whoop, whoop. <coughs> uh, you hit it. So we're not really, because I can't get it twice. Save. Save. So. I don't really get it, because I can't get my 29, but whatever. <laughs> That's true. It's a magical 29. It's true. Wait, so it's two successes there, right? Uh, yeah, you one. said two failures but when you were rolling. Two success. Oh, I'll let two successes you're right. One strength point. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Okay. So it, it's, it's one point each. Second. Yeah. So two, two failures on its part. Two. How many? Uh, how many does it take for me to get big? five? Five. Okay. Cool. Good. All right. <coughs> yes. Until you have a long rest and then reset. So. But I can still get big twice by myself. That is. <laughs> I can't reach it. <laughs> That was just fun to watch. It was. Nice. Good job, everybody. Uh, is there anything in this cave other than the nope. holes? Nope. There's a, do there's a pathway that leads off to <laughs> There's the some Doom Slayers. Congratulations. Hi. Your mission's over. Have a good day. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. No. Uh, so, let's, let's do it. <clears throat> do we want to take a short rest and heal up? I would like that. 
Sure. Yeah, size hurting. Uh, I have a thing. So you, and you're so like, sh- are you going to short rest like in the barrel? Yeah. Okay. Do you, you want to short rest outside the barrel? Yeah, I can do that. Thanks, Dan Garden. Okay. Short rest. So, uh, short rest is about half an hour to an hour, depending upon how that rolls. Everybody can roll. Uh, hit die. Hit die to heal if you need to. Let me just take a look here real quick. During the, the short rest, because you know, everybody else kind of clambers into the barrel, right? Yeah. You're out. Chilling. From that pathway, yeah. drift in a whole bunch of little blue lights. So oh, pretty! <laughs> Look at the pretty lights, guys. <laughs> Where's the battle? Drift. You see them drifting over. Not 4G. Yeah. Interestingly enough, you see them. Settle down on the corpses of the bullets. Yep. And you begin to hear uh, almost like a slurping noise, right? Like it sounds gross. Mm. And you can see the meat deteriorating off of these things. Uh, And you see some of the like. I see plates fall off, and in about a minute, there's nothing left but bones. Nice. White bones. They even clean up all of the, like, blood that kind of flows up on the, on the ground. You're the, you're the only one that sees this. Uh, it's kind of terrifying. Yeah. Not that you're... One to be scared of that. And then almost all of they float goodness. up and they drift back toward the direction you're going. <laughs> well, yep. Uh, okay. <laughs> Alright. You gonna heal up? Yeah. You took almost all of my hit dice to get back up to full. You knocked 72 damage off of me. Off of Sai. 11. Shot. 18. I think that's about as much you knocked off me as well. You knocked it off me. That's the... That's the fun. You know, the the funness. Me. I'm figuring it out. But how, we haven't how, to, it? how to plan... Big nasty battles for high level dudes. I've never really had high level dudes before. <laughs> so it's a learning process for me. <clears throat> yeah, don't, just don't look up what it would take to do a deadly encounter for us in the Cobalt Bike Club because that would just be ridiculous. Yeah. It would be a horde. It would. All right. Short rest complete. You all clamber out of the barrel to find that the freshly killed bullets, no, uh, they're just skeletons. And what happened? Uh, so there were these blue light things and they came in and they ate them. <laughs> <laughs> and then they left. That's bloody weird. Yeah. They, uh, they came from the direction that we need to be going. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try something. So they're that way. <laughs> okay. With his, with his description of what I've been what I've been able to find out about the blue light so far. Mm-hmm. Don't know if I want to burn this spell, though. Legend lore? Yeah. <laughs> Damn a, it! That is a fifth level spell. Okay. I just want to see how, how, how I'm faring on spell usage at this point. <coughs> I'll have to yep, come I'm going to burn it. I've come up with a name for these things. Okay. Um, judging from <coughs> what you've heard so far, you cast the spell. And a uh, <laughs> oh, that's good. Hang on, I gotta write that down. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> <coughs> a 
a, a word that you've never really heard of before comes to mind. Um, Piranavi. The what? Piranavi. Oh, Jesus. I know where you got that from. <laughs> Piranha. Did they also go, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they are, um, <clears throat> they're fairies, they're fae, incredibly evil, vicious, and difficult to hit, uh, because they're so small and fast, snitch-like, if you will, um, They can they can eat like piranhas. Based on the terms of the spell, do I know if they they're typically serving anything or um like any anything from legends that say that they they're usually servants of X? <coughs> That's a good question. Um, they are frequently servants or or um. They don't usually serve a lot of creatures. It has to be super powerful to keep it in check. Um, they do tend to be more on, uh, they, they tend to serve evil individuals because they will let them eat freely, generally. Uh, but if a good and extremely powerful individual, like say a deity or something, uh, commandeers them for a purpose, then obviously they'll they'll serve as they can. Uh, <clears throat> but nothing specific as far as like who they might be working for or for what purpose. Okay. I love that spell. It's like, I don't know anything. <clears throat> yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All right. Now that that's done, and you have some information with the creatures I just made up, and you're all healed up and good to go, proceed, I suppose. Yes? Sure. Pass the <clears throat> trace. Size going a bit ahead and he's gonna stealth. He gets advantage on stealth checks, doesn't he? I'm sure. From his armor? I'm sure he does. Uh I think so, yeah. Let's just say soft stealth. <laughs> Let's use some old two ones. That's a nat twenty, so thirty-nine forty-nine. Uh did he make any concentration? Well, no, he, no, he, he dropped, cast, yeah, he's he recast cast Hunter's Mark. He's recasting. He's recasting Hunter's Mark. Okay, got it. So, what is that? 49. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're definitely <laughs> as stealth. As high as possible. Definitely stealth. Uh, and you you, you kind of go ahead of everyone else. Uh, Checking for traps. Yes. Uh, not so great. Uh, 18. Okay. Wait a minute, what level rogue is he? Oh, he can't call it yet, can he? No, no. Call 10 is like high, almost. It's like, like 11, 10, 11, 11 12, 12 yeah. around that area. I think it's level 11. I think so. Um, I have a book in front of me that will tell me. And then 15 is blind sense, yeah. Yes, or yeah. 14. Uh, so, is everyone else staying close for the sake of the bonus yeah. to stealth? Yeah. Everyone else give me stealth checks as well. He does not take any traps, by the way. You're killing out the imps. Good, uh, 28. 29 with imps. Wait, wait, now. Stealth. Ow. And then, uh... Plus 10. Shoot. 30. Your disadvantage. 32. No, disadvantage. Uh, 31 with Evander. Oh, nice. So this die. 10 plus 12. Well, we get plus 10. Yeah. So... 22. Oops. Making your way. Reasonably Making stealthy. Way because of full <laughs> plate. 
I mean, as stealthy as you can, really, in full plate. Yeah. Um, and the chamber begins to kind of tighten up a little bit. It becomes 10, 10 by, like, a, a 10 foot hallway. And it opens out into a room. And this room's very bright. Very, very bright. Let me get. I have potentially some things that I can use for this. Ow! All right, we get it. <clears throat> How are you liking adventuring with fate so far? Very interesting. These will get better. Or worse, depending on your view of things. Ah, <laughs> it's all up from here. Can't wait till you get that, that uh, dwarven paper. I know, I'm super stoked. Only reason I didn't really think to try and go back and fix my pledge on that is I don't DM in person that often so it's not super useful for me. That's fair. Um, this is like the first time I think I've ever used these. No, it's not the second. We used it for the Battle Royale. Ooh, that's fun. I don't need that, but it's fun. Uh, let's put it. I'm sorry, Katie. He's like, it's a thing. It is a thing, is that. Okay, this will work. Alright, cool. Cool beans. This is Sai right here. First level exhaustion. <sighs> you do. You have that potion too. Well, I'm gonna save that for second level. Hmm? I'm gonna save that for second level exhaustion. Doesn't your rage negate the exhaustion? Mm -mm. <sighs> nope. This will be better. It does not. But it only gives me disadvantage on like ability checks. It's and not. attack rolls. No attack rolls. Not not first level exhaustion anyway. I don't think so. Can you double check that for me, Gerald? What? The exhaustion thing. First, First level? Yeah. yeah. First level of exhaustion. I'll look, you can play with yourself. Pretty sure it's just a disadvantage on ability checks. I got it. Alright. That exhaustion is not on here. Four, five. Four. Yes, it is. There it is. Uh, disadvantage on ability checks. Uh, it's level three exhaustion is disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws. Yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. I got, I got some work done. Just don't get to six. That's dead. No. <laughs> okay. I got my potion that'll fix that right up. All right. Now. Uh. Probably just posting it so we can look at them later anyway. Alright. Sai. Uh, yes. You, <laughs> you come to. So, you know, it again, it narrows down to a 10 foot space hallway. And it kind of goes a, a fair way down. A out. space hallway? Yeah. 
face all the way. And it opens to like, just a, just a little bit, kind of branches out, and there's a big set of doors. Is the door trapped? Good question. Let's see what you roll. A lot. Uh, that would be 24. It is not trapped. It is warded. However. Warded? Yes. Hmm. Uh, and there is text that is written in... Uh, well, does anybody read Celestial? Yes, it is, it's, it's in Celestial. Yay! I'm useful. <laughs> it's Elfgar. We, we've never yeah, once I mean. come across the Orcish language. That's because most of it is just grunts. <laughs> they also, they yeah, I don't the, think they have a written language. They use the Dwarven script. I really don't think they would have that much of a written language. Well, they don't the orcs are dumb as hell. They don't frequently, no. In, in standard d and yeah, they don't use it. They're like hobgoblins. I can read probably. common. But. <laughs> Okay. You can read. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, nice quote. I dig that. Um, the door... No, it's, I didn't know you could read. Yeah. door has a lot of uh, text. What it boils down to... Because I don't have anything written out or anything. But what, what it boils down to is... You have to uh, give a part of your life essence to open the door. Which you kind of figure blood. out is blood. Yeah. Um, sh blood? Yeah. Blood opens door. What blood? I grab your paw and <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Pull out a dagger and slice his hand his paw open and smack the door with it. Uh, okay. You take one point of damage. From that. That's the one point that get me killed. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna take exactly enough damage to die now. Take exactly 239 damage. Yeah. Jesus. So if you'll you. flip that tile for me, the door tile. Ah, <laughs> get that the door up. Yay! <laughs> okay. So the doors swing open. <laughs> they are creaky. They're not real. They're old, uh, but they're creepy as well. So, in this room, it seems to be, again, relatively empty. You see a few um, ruined types of columns, and the door itself, you notice. Oh, I did want to say one thing. has a bunch of tiny holes in it. I did want to say one thing. During that short rest, when Sai was healing up, he would have... Um, Unattuned Sergei and Attuned Dragon Slayer. If, if, is that an attunement item? Yeah. Dragon Slayer is an attunement item, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Cool. Just seeing that we're in a place full of dragons. That's fair. Um, so, this area opens up, and what you see, uh, other than, because I did forget to mention this, the door is full of, like, tiny holes, like, like inch. Sized hole, square inch hole. For the Piranha Nobby. For the Piranha Nobby, yeah. The Piranobi. And when it opens, you don't see a lot of movement, but in the far side of the room, up on a pedestal, is what looks to be an altar that is surrounded by a solid blue glowing globe or sphere if you will mm -hmm. uh, that's really all that's there um, can I make an untrained arcana check yeah sure well guys the dead end is come back well. nothing here to see uh, so, Sai got a 19, I got a 12. Okay. Um, give me perception checks. That would be good. If you want to make one, you can. If you don't, that's okay. And I'll 
tell you what you see in the next video. Mega! Do you want to take another break? Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Take another break. Sure.